This video is all about organizing the darkroom in Darktable, and I'm talking specifically about the menus. It follows the previous video on shortcuts. I'm Nicholas, and let's go. In this video, I propose that we stay in the dark room and we have a look at all the tools and options we have to modify the workspace to um, adapt it to, um, to what we'd like to have. Um, maybe set this to our personal taste. And the first thing I'd like to do is go into the settings. Now, if you notice, I do not have the menu here for the settings, the little cogwheel for the uh, preferences. So I will use Command Shift T uh, and that changes the top bar. Command Shift T again and I can even do it a third time. So here I have access to the light table, dark room and I have the icons for the preferences. Do check that in processing you are in scene referred and not display referred and you're in modern and not legacy and that will give us access to the latest technology in dark table for color calibration and for tone mapping using the Filmic RGB module. And in miscellaneous, let's go to the first one. The mouse wheel scrolls module side panel by default. That is something I do click. Now, what does it do? It enables me if I have something open, um, if I have color balance RGB, it does give me access. If I have a lot, there we have a lot of modules. It means that with the mouse wheel, I can just scroll up and down. So that is one I use. Um, if I don't do that, then when I use the mouse wheel, there are nothing's moving and I, I don't like that. So miscellaneous scroll. Uh, if you want to, uh, by the way, um, if you want to move um, a slider when this is on, you can. You just press on control option, control option, and it doesn't slide, it moves the slider. Uh, I usually just either right click and then I move the slider with the mouse or I just clickety click or catch the uh, the slider like that. I, do, I don't use the control option thing. Anyway, um, back to miscellaneous, I would propose to change the position of the scopes module to the left. The scopes module is the histogram, um, histogram and vector scope and all the other things in between. Now, why would I want it on the left? Well, the reason is now because of this quick access panel, which I use more and more, it takes up more and more space and it just gives me real estate on the screen if I move this histogram to the left. And notice I've actually checked the option, it hasn't moved. I need to go into the light table and back into the dark room. And now it is here, which I can use as any kind of scope or histogram. Um, I don't think we really need it that much. Uh, not the histogram anyway, not to set the tone mapping or colors. Maybe if you're actually doing work on, um, uh, if, if, if you want to actually set an artistic color um, if you want to check the saturation, maybe with a vector scope, but I actually don't use the histogram that much because, um, well, filming does a lot of the work for me. Um, so there we are for the layout of the screen. You see, I've got a lot more real estate for the, uh, the quick access panel. And now we'll have a look at the different options in the tabs here. So dark table works, um, by piling modules on top of each other in a pipeline. The pipeline is this uh, on-off tab here. Pipeline, the first thing that's applied is at the bottom and the, the last one is at the top. So it's kind of a stack going from the bottom up to the top. These are the modules that are active at the moment. And then here I have different tabs where I can add modules to the pipeline. So let's say if I want to add Astro Denoise, I switch it on. And when I go to the pipeline, somewhere automatically Astro Photo Denoise will be inserted in the correct place. And I say correct, in the place chosen by the developers as being the ideal place to put it in the pipeline. We do not have a choice for that. Um, we can, however, modify it by pressing on Control Shift and sliding up and down but I would only do that um, 
the modules that you actually uh, understand and you understand why it would be better in a different place so if i click on that and remove it it stays in the uh, on the screen for the moment but i can actually just do click twice uh, this develops all the modules um, that we have and you click again and it just shows the pipeline as it is now so with the bright light on it means the module is activated what we can do is change the content let's just close that of the modules that i want to choose now dark table has an enormous number of modules it has put modules all you'll see with all the tabs there are some old ones some new ones some that have been deprecated some that now we're, the developers are saying maybe you shouldn't use so we can organize this space just to have the modules that um, we'd like to use and keep the search bar here just if we know the name of a module we maybe use once every blue moon that maybe you want to change uh, you want to just search for that like colorize click on color and you find the one you want whether it is in the bars the the tabs or not so let's change these tabs i will go into the right hand side in the presets so it is actually a preset for this uh, widget which gives me all the access to all the modules and i will go into manage presets now in here um i i'm actually on the preset modules also have access to all the modules not maybe a good idea let's go to workflow display referred as a good starting point because as we chose the displayed referred workflow then this preset which is already set for us um, will give me access to quite a lot of modules too many in my taste that can be used in the scene referred in the display re scene referred what was i saying i want scene referred not display referred sorry about that I want the modules that I have access into the scene referred workflow. Too many, and anyway, I can't change them here. So what I need to do is duplicate that. And watch what's happening. I'm going to call this temp as a temporary preset, not the final one. So rename. And so it's created a new preset based on the scene referred workflow preset that was already made. And now I can remove whatever I like and add some more. So I have four tabs, base, color, correct, effect. Now, color I understand. Base I use as everything that I use often that's not color. And correct and effect, well, for me, is too, too much. So I'm going to remove a tab. So instead of having um, four tabs, now I only have three. And i will start removing or changing things from one place to the to another now you can't just pick one and move it along you have to let's say rotate in perspective click at the cross to get rid of it and then in correct plus and then it is actually one of the top ones it does actually um, give a few suggestions at the top of the list and if it's not in, you can go to all the available modules. So rotate and perspective. Now crop, I don't have that in the base. I have that incorrect. So all available. Crop. Um, tone equalizer, contrast equalizer, I like to have here, which are the ones I use still quite a lot. Orientation, can't see the point of that. White balance, can't see the point either. In color, let's have the lot 3D, color zones, color balance RGB, color calibration. Why not? Astro denoise I don't use, sharpen I don't use, retouch liquify, get rid of that, haze removal. Let's keep the others and let's add diffuse or sharpen. So that would be the basic layout. I may have forgotten one or two I'm doing this quickly, but I just have access to the very few modules that I actually use on a regular basis. So when I quit this, if I change preset and go to temp, now you see I only have on the base, I have five modules, four modules in color, and I have a little bit more in the effects mod in the effects tab. And that's plenty enough for me. Now, where it gets interesting is when we start messing around with the quick access panel. 
this um, is highly um, modifiable, uh, but it does have a quirk, and that is why um, I actually recorded set my preset as temp, and you'll see why very very soon. Let us start. Local contrast. I want to keep filmic. For me, I do use white, black, and I use contrast. I also use um, some more sliders in filmic, so I can add those to the quick access panel by clicking here on the filmic module. I'll go into look, and now using the keyboard shortcut button, I will go on to latitude, and I will press Control. And left click and i'm going to do the same for mid-tone saturation which i also use now either you do a right click or you click on the keyboard here and now they have appeared in um the quick access panel so i use those color balance rgb global virus vibrance global chroma global saturation let's have a look in color balance rgb contrast yes i do use contrast so keyboard Control, left click, done. That one's in. Do I use anything else? Yes, I do. But um, this quick access panel would be the first steps to the photo. And usually if I'm doing something else, I will duplicate, make a new instance of color RGB and go into a second layer of um, editing the photo and make new instances. Uh, this would be my base layer to get color, color uh, sorry to get a correct color balance and correct colors and correct um uh, i'd set filmic in a correct way to get the white and blacks right and then usually um if i want to add things onto that i would make um extra instances of modules so that's fine color calibration i do not need temperature here because i actually just want to set color calibration as it is um, maybe i might want to have i don't know if i can have this I haven't tried could i get that color picker let's have a go first of all i want to get rid of these three that i don't need so let's keyboard shortcut control click click now i'm worried that if i click on this it will get rid of color calibration altogether so I'm going to go into color calibration and I wonder if I can do a control click on that uh, color picker. I don't think I can. It doesn't want to do that. That's a pity. I'd like to get a shortcut to that. I don't think it's appeared. OK, that doesn't matter. Let's get rid of that temperature. And as I was saying, color calibration is gone. So now I need to go and get it back. Right. Well. I also want to have in here an access to crop and access to um, rotate and perspective and maybe other things. I'm not going to bother you with all the details because you, uh, you already understand where I'm going with this. Now, the quirk of this uh, method is the following. Now, in the presets, it has automatically taken me to last modified layout, whereas temp was here. When I recorded temp, it was in this state. I'd made all my modifications with this keyboard shortcut and now I'm in last modified layout. And this is the one. Last modified layout has all the changes I made in temp. That's fine. And it also has the modifications I made in the quick access panel. And I just now need to save those to the final preset name. So we're going to manage presets. Keep last modified layout. I can add modules here as well. I don't have to do it with keyboard shortcuts. All available modules. Let's do color calibration. Where is it? Color calibration here on off. Let's add crop on off and maybe perspective. Uh, rotate and perspective here on off. Maybe you want to change and add other things. But I am in last modified layout and this is the one now I'm going to rename as my um, let's do Nicholas 3.9 because I'm on a dev version. It's not 3.8.1. I'm on 3.9 at the moment. Rename and the temp thing 
temp here, remove, remove that one. So now I have as Nicholas 3.9, I have all the modifications actually entered in the quick access panel and in the other tabs. Um, so that's how that is set. Now, last thing, if you have set your quick access panel and then you decide that, well, in rotate and perspective, you wanted to add something, you want to make a, an, an extra modification. Well, of course, that's possible. Either you go into manage presets, you're in your uh, the preset you made and you want to add, let's say, in rotate and perspective, I want to add... Um, could it be rotation there we are if you do with the with this um with uh, these settings here then you will get it automatically in your preset let's just change back and change again and i do have rotate and perspective and this rotation uh, slider has appeared what is a pity though is that actually I would like to get in the rotating perspective, I would like to get the structure, manually draw structure lines as a shortcut in the quick access panel. And I can't because I don't have that arrow. It has to be an arrow. Um, it's either up or down, whether it's already in the quick access or not. It's just control click. If it was in, it goes out. If it's not in, it goes in. So I can't get that. So I'm going to decide now that this rotation thing I'm going to get rid of. So control click. And now it's gone. Um, so now this is completely, yeah, that's it. Okay, we're there. Um, so it has gone, but in the presets, I'm back in the last modified layout again. So you need to go into manage presets. You need to Go to the preset you use usually and remove it. Go back into the last modified layout and rename it as it was before, Nicholas 3.9. There we are. And the modification is made. What's missing in this for the moment, I'm, I'm hoping it will come, is that if you make a modification and you go into the menu here, you do not have an update preset, which you have in all the other modules so let's see in, um, I have a preset in color balance RGB which I call basic which is my own version of basic now if I make a modification to that and I go into the menu I have update preset basic I click on that and basics changed and we're done which I do not want to do not with the future the thing is we don't have it for this uh, particular widget, we just have managed piece presets, but we don't have an update preset. And that is why I go through the workaround of having a temporary one um, that I set up. And then I make the modifications and it's the last, uh, which has disappeared here because there are no modifications, but the last uh, modified layout that I actually transform into the uh, definite one. Uh, so there we are for that. That is more or less how you can arrange the uh, the layout of um, the darkroom. So I'll just get rid of that line there because it gives me a bit more space for the image. And we're done. We're done for this video. Um, if you haven't seen the video on uh, shortcuts um, to get all the secrets of how to program shortcuts, then do go and see that because with the quick access panel and shortcuts both combined together, it is a real um, time saver. Um, OK, I'll stop there. I'll uh, say bye bye and I'll see you all soon.